Here we have a Dell Latitude 13, 7000 series, 2 in 1. So we're going to open up and explore the insides. So the reason why this is called the 2 in 1, it's like the Asus Transformer. A lot of companies have been doing this. The screen can be separated from the keyboard, and the keyboard has extra battery. So there's a button here. By pulling the button, we get the screen by itself, and it's a tablet. Everything is inside the tablet, and the keyboard has an extra battery and USB ports for you to use with the tablet. So, so to start off, we're only going to take the tablet side, and we need a prying tool to pry off the back. So, where the silver bezel is is where you start prying. There's no screws holding it down, so just take your time prying it, and it'll come off. It's all clips. So remember to pry all around once you open a little gap. So by the time you pry halfway, you can just rip it off with your hands. It comes relatively really easy. So once you remove everything, you can just rip it off by your hand. So here's the battery, which you can remove and replace. Here's this M.2 SSD, your hard drive. Here's your wireless card. Here's your mobile wireless card. There's space for it. Clearly my one doesn't come with one. Your CPU and RAM are under there, which cannot be changed. There is your card reader, such as your credit card reader. So we have to remove the battery cable. And there's four screws holding the battery down. One, two, three. And there's another one, which I'll show you later. So, here you go, there's another screw here. The battery, the, there's a few cables connected to the battery as, well, they're wired around the battery. So you need to remove them, unwire them, as um, it makes it hard to remove the battery, such as the wireless cable for, the antenna cable for the 3G wireless. And there's this as well, as you can see here on the side. These cables are for the camera and other stuff. So now we're going to remove the hard drive, which is an 80 millimeter M.2. There's only room for one hard drive, if you're asking, which is this. Now we're going to remove the wireless card, it's also a M.2. So after removing one screw, you can remove it. Remember to remove the wireless antenna cables first before you pull it out. And that's basically it for the screen. Now we're going to move on to the keyboard. For the keyboard, you can remove the keyboard and to remove the keyboard you have to remove the keyboard surround this is with most latitude laptops that I have found there's a keyboard surround, there's a gap here, I'm pointing to a gap you have to put your prime tool in and remove the plastic surround I believe all latitude laptops have this surround so if you're familiar with latitude laptops you'll be familiar with this there's a few screws holding the keyboard down
Please note you have to remove the screws on the keyboard first before you can remove the back as few of the screws hold the back cover on. So I'm just pointing out the screw now, there's two screws there and all the screws, the rest of the screws are on the bottom part. So to remove the keyboard, it's quite tricky, I'll explain it later, but you, like I said before, before you continue, you need to remove the back cover now, after removing the keyboard screws. For the back cover, the screws are a torque screwdriver, you need a torque screwdriver, I think it's T3, to remove all the screws, and there should be 12 screws, 10 screws at the back. Not all the screws are the same. 10 of the screws are the same screws, but 2 of them are different. I will show it to you after I remove all the screws. So this screw here is a big screw, and this screw here is also a big screw. So the two last screws are the same, but the rest are all small screws. So here you go, there's ten of the small one, and two of the big one. Now you need to get your prime tool. Remember to remove your SD card. You get your prime tool to pry open the edges. I broke my prime tool, so I need to get a new one. So once you start prying, once it's half pried, you can actually use your hand and rip it open, and you don't need your prying tool anymore. Just get your prying tool and go around the edges. After you remove all the screws, it's just plastic clips holding it down, and should re be relatively pretty easy. You will see that I need to take it off screen now and then, as it's easier for me to pry it open off screen, as I've got better leverage. Now that I have pried it finish, it just comes straight off. And I just need to remove my broken piece. So this is the battery, your spare your second battery. Inside the tablet there's already a battery. But when you connect to the keyboard, they give you two batteries. And I'm just pointing out the screws now. There's four of them. This battery can be replaced. Some people ask me if batteries can be replaced. Every battery in anything can be replaced.
after we remove all the screws, we need to remove our cable. The original battery in the tablet is like 38 watts, and this was the only 20, so half of the battery life of the other. Now we flipped it over, we need our prime tool. So you just have to pry the sides to lift it up from the clips. So be careful while you while you're lifting up the keyboard, just slide it left, right, left, right, wiggle it a bit, and it comes off. Try not to rip off your keyboard as your keyboard ribbon cable is at the back. I'm just pointing out these dots. You have to wiggle them out of the dots as the dots hold them down. So now we remove that ke our keyboard. There's a few ribbon cables underneath. One's the keyboard, and the other one is the backlight. You don't have to remove it that way. You can remove it from the back if you want. So you need to remove this thing. That black thing sticky tape. You don't need it. That. That uh, copper looking like thing is actually where your ribbon cables connect to. Sorry, it's a bit hard to see. Just need to wiggle it out a bit. <laughs> so, we need to remove the copper thing from the top. I, really, I just unclipped it. It's not clear, but yes, I unclipped it. And here, there's a clip for your backlight. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching. This disassemble is relatively really easy for to open the tablet side, but to remove the keyboard, it's actually quite hard. It, it shouldn't be really necessary for anyone to remove the keyboard as there's nothing in there just the extra battle battery if you need to replace it but opening up the tablet is extremely simple thanks for watching